and show you at the same time. I push it, you see. Oil pia ja ek. Oil compressor oil ke liye compressor mein chicken art pia bara. Hmm. इसमें से हवा आएगी ना हाँ यहाँ लगाएंगे तो हवा की कहीं ना कहीं पहले कीजिए लेट्स टर्न ऑन द एयरकॉन so hey guys welcome back to another episode of vbuilds let's talk about how a car air conditioner works and how you can troubleshoot in case it is not working there are things that you might not be able to fix yourself like filling in the gas which is not practical to keep a gas cylinder at your home so those things you might have to do uh, get it done from a workshop but still the initial troubleshooting you can do so that no mechanic can make a fool out of you so let's begin by looking at all the components of the air conditioners so as i showed you this is the compressor and then it is connected to two lines one is a high pressure line and the other one is a low pressure line so you can differentiate between high pressure and low pressure line just by looking at it this one is a bit thinner and the low pressure line is a bit uh, wider compared to the high pressure line so in case you want to see the labels right here on if you follow this low pressure line right here on the top of this wall which is used to fill up the gas and uh, measure pressures and all that you will see there's a small l and if you follow the high pressure line again on the wall you'll see this h which shows high pressure so these are the pressure lines now this low pressure lines is what carries the cooled uh, or the cooled gas or freon whatever now this might sound a bit confusing but the low pressure line actually carries a cold refrigerant from the cabin to the compressor the twist here being the refrigerant even after exchanging heat with the cabin air it is still colder than the environment so while going to the compressor this low pressure line still feels cold the compressor of the air conditioner is connected to the engine using a drive belt so you, if you see right now this right here is the compressor pulley which is rotating freely because our compressor is off right now this right here on the top the screws that you see those are th that is the main compressor wheel and it engages using a clutch only when we turn on the compressor so let me show you a closer look right now you see only the pulley is rotating but the main compressor wheel is not rotating let's turn on the aircon now the ac is turned on and you will see the pulley is actually rotating the compressor so you see the whole compressor wheel is turning and also the fans are on so this is how you know the electrical condition is fine for the aircon that means your compressor is turning on next major component is the condenser you can see the condenser is just in front of the radiator so if i have to show you right there this one that is the condenser let me focus a bit so this right here is the radiator and this is the condenser so if you follow the high pressure line from here it goes into the condenser so right there so what it does is the compressor compresses the uh, freon and it pushes through this line and it goes into the condenser condenser right there so this condenser has small fins where the gas is you know spread out and then the gas from the compressor is in a very high pressure and is really hot so this uh, this line is usually hot then these fans you know they turn on as i showed you they turn on and they cool down the freon as it cools down it converts into a liquid since it is already in a high pressure high pressure and low temperature is a good combinations for liquid so now once it is turned into liquid it comes it returns back to this this line you see this is also connected to the condenser and if you follow it through it goes inside the cabin so right there and if you see right there this goes into the cabin 
this was the high pressure system and this is also the location where the expansion valve is located so i'm not going to open it but i'll show you a picture uh, so basically what expansion valve does is controls the amount of refrigerant going to the evaporator core or the cooling coil and also it lets the refrigerant lose its pressure so as it loses pressure it converts into uh, gas and you know when the state changes it obviously releases uh, all of it heats and cool downs to the temperature that we want it to and eventually it cools down the evaporator core and the fat line is the low pressure system that i already explained other than that there are some sensor which senses the pressure of gas in uh, in the aircon system and they send the signal to the ecm so in case there is low or high amount of gas in the system then what is required it will again turn off the air conditioner just to avoid any further damage to the system and there is also one dryer uh, which is used to remove any um, liquid remaining in the gas when the refrigerant is supposed to be in a gaseous state so that's all we have in the front compartment in the engine bay let's move on to the cabin and i'll show you what we have inside if you open the dashboard here just open it completely now if you see one component is this aircon filter this is the best place to start troubleshooting so you turn the locks push the locks and you pull it out this is the aircon filter right and inside this if you see right there this is the fan which sucks the air and then throws it on to the evaporator core before that one interesting thing is this if you uh, you know this part um, this circulates the cabin air within the cabin and this side it takes the air from outside and circulates so this is how it works if you move it to the outside air let me do it and show you at the same time i push it you see it opens this flap and this flap is connected to the outside world right and if you put it to inside it pushes the flap and closes it just basically sucks the air from the cabin right here then it goes to the aircon filter this is the fan which pulls the air then uh, the evaporator core i cannot show you it is it is just basically it looks like a radiator also which is you know cooled down to a certain temperature and when the air blows through it it cools down that air as well so these are the components inside uh, the evaporator fan is hidden somewhere inside the dashboard so these are the components and let's begin troubleshooting the first thing you do is you check the aircon filter so let's say if this is completely blocked it is the aircon will not be able to pull any uh air through it and since it is not able to pull the air it throws nothing on the evaporator core and the heat exchange does not occur since the heat exchange does not occur the evaporator core might freeze and there are some sensor temperature sensors on the evaporator core which will tell the ecu to turn off the air con so if there is ice on the evaporator core the gas cannot pass through and it will put unnecessary load on the con the compressor and that might go bad so hence it is important the ecu senses that it has frozen and it turns off the air conditioner so you might not get cool air in your cabin that's one next let's put it back in this is all good next is you want to turn on the car and when i turn on the aircon you see the fans came on and the compressor right there the compressor is running so that's the second thing you check in case you see the fans are not running or the compressor is not turning on that is there might be some electrical problem your switches might have gone bad or the relays might have gone bad so if you see on the left side of the engine comp uh, compartment this is a small box which contains some relays these there are three relays one two three this relay is for the uh, for the compressor this one is ac fan and this one is radiator fan so you might have to replace these relays in case it is not turning at on at all 
or let's say if one of the fan is turning on the compressor is not turning on maybe the relays are bad so you might want to check that as well now you see the fans are running but what's happening in my case is see the aircon is dripping it is turning on and off again and again so in my case what is happening is whenever the aircon is on it is pretty cold i mean the air is cold so it is working but it trips automatically it just turns on for some time and then it goes off on and off so this is what is happening for my case so i've checked the electrical connections are fine the relays are fine the filter is okay one more thing which can cause this is the condens condenser is choked what you can do is take a high pressure water hose and just spray it over here because this the condenser is just beside uh, behind this grill so when you spray it on the condenser if there's a lot of mud coming out that means your condenser is choked then you might have to you know get it cleaned right now you can see the condition from here as well so you see my condense my condenser is also pretty choked so i'll have to get it cleaned another thing is if your <clears throat> car is overheating for a long time what happens is the ECU senses that and it doesn't want your aircon to run so it just turns it off that's another condition when your aircon might your, your air conditioner might just trip so that's what happening in my case but you know if the car is overheating you'll have a, a indication in the meter so if you see your car is overheating it's better to turn off the AC do not use it because it will overstress the engine Another thing which can make your aircon to stop working is if there is too much freon or too much gas as we say it if there is too much gas in the uh, in the lines or if there is low pressure of gas in the lines both the cases you know the aircon might just turn on and off so that's another thing we need to check using the pressure gauges uh, if you want to buy the pressure gauges they are quite cheap maybe 2000 or something Indian rupees ouch you can check the pressure in the high pressure and low pressure gauges that i will explain because i'll have to get, get the gas filled or i am thinking the gas pressure is too high so i'll have to get it uh, equalized from a mechanic so i'll go there and explain the rest of stuff to you there so here we are at the workshop and let's top up the refrigerant and these are the pressure gauges which i use to measure the pressure in the lines it is connected to that black machine which is the vacuum pump and to the low pressure side of our car's air conditioner now what we are going to do is try to find the leaks if any in our aircon system so basically we are using soapy water and a sponge the old school method uh, so this machine will be creating high pressure throughout the system and then we'll apply soapy water uh, using the sponge all over the pipes on all the joints and everywhere and we will look for bubbles it's like a kid's game <laughs> If you see bubbles, that means there's a leak. Uh, so there's no point filling up the gas if there's a leak. So we'll have to fix that leak first. चाली तो है दो सौ किलोमीटर So we can also use this machine to detect the leaks because the pressure gauges will show a drop in the pressures in case we just leave it like for one or two minutes but we will we waited five minutes and there was no drop so that means there is no leaks in our system that's a good news so we found no leaks and we can start filling up the refrigerant but before that we need to use this compressor oil oil pe aa jayega oil compressor oil ke liye compressor mein chicken add kiya hua hai gas khali khadi chutti to nahi acha इसीलिए बोलो ऑयल होता है अच्छा गैस के साथ ऑयल भी है हां ऑयल जरूरी हो क्योंकि कंप्रेसर के लिए ऑयल हम्म 
कंप्रेस में कब इस नाम थोड़ी है चिकन आट से जो अच्छा और कोई कि कहीं पर लीकेज हो तो ऑयल वहां से निकल जाएगा फिर पता लग जाएगा कि पाइप में यहां पे लीकेज है सो बेसिकली वी विल क्रिएट अ सक्शन इनसाइड द एयरकॉन लाइंस एंड वी विल मेक इट सक दिस कंप्रेसर ऑयल दिस ऑयल सर्व्स थ्री पर्पसेस one is in case there is a leak the oil will come out of that hole and you can you know physically see that there is a leak second is it keeps the pistons of the compressors lubricated which is you know lubrication is always good for mechanical parts third is it also makes the movement of the refrigerant a little bit easier so yeah that's why we use this oil a little amount is good enough ye gas hoti hai अच्छा तो गैस का नाम क्या है क्लोरो आर एक सौ चौतीस हेयर इज द रेफ्रिजरेंट गैस कॉल्ड आर वन थ्री फोर एंड बिफोर पुटिंग इट इन वी नीड टू मेक श्योर देर इज सक्शन इन द लाइन सो दैट देर इज नो एयर लेफ्ट बिहाइंड बिकॉज इफ देर इज एयर इन द सिस्टम इट विल हिंड द कूलिंग प्रोसेस इसमें से हवा आएगी ना हाँ। यहाँ लगाएंगे तो हवा की कहीं ना कहीं पहले की जाए अच्छा और ऐसे मुलाए देखेंगे ना हवा नहीं आई हाँ। तो ओके ही अच्छा तो अभी तो नहीं आ रही है हाँ। अब नहीं आ रही हवा देखो आप आग लगा के देखो नहीं आ रही ना ना नहीं आ रही और इसको जैसे कि देखो इसको ऐसे बंद कर दिया और यहाँ से खोल दिया तो हवा आएगी देखो अब हाँ अब आ रही है इसमें थोड़ी सी भी हवा आएगी ना कम्प्रेसर से निकलेगी वैक्यूम करते वक्त तो कहीं ना कहीं लीकी जाए तो लीकेज होगी तो थोड़ी हवा आएगी ज्यादा होगी तो ज्यादा आएगी हाँ। और लीकेज नहीं होगी तो हवा नहीं आएगी फिर तो कति माइनर लीकेज हो तो बेरा भी ना पाटेगा हाँ। क्यों इसमें कित कर बेरा पाटेगा इतनी हवा आवा ना कम से कम तीन चार मिनट तो वैक्यूम करना चाहिए इसको अच्छा बिल्कुल ओके है देखो हवा भी नहीं आ रही हाँ अब बिल्कुल नहीं आ रही है आड़े तो कोई ना का काम अच्छा काम है जैसे कि ए सी ऑन होती है पंखे चल रहे हैं ना ए सी का बटन तब के पंखे चलने चाहिए कई के दो तीन मिनट बाद गर्म करने से गर्म होने के बाद चलते हैं अच्छा इसके तो दो मिनट बाद ही चले दो मिनट तो नहीं चलो कुछ सेकंड बाद कुछ सेकंड बाद ही चले पंखे नहीं चलेंगे तो अच्छी पुलिंग नहीं करेगी बार बार टट लगेगा अभी तो चल रहे हैं हाँ दोनों ही चल रहे हैं और आपका बैग भी अच्छा है कंप्रेसर आपको बहुत अच्छा कूलिंग करता है अच्छा आपकी गाड़ी ने बहुत अच्छी कूलिंग करती है क्योंकि बैग है ना चालीस से नीचे होना चाहिए हमेशा अच्छा से चालीस से नीचे ही है चालीस से नीचे ही अच्छा है आपका कंप्रेसर कूलिंग बहुत अच्छी करेगा ये चलो फिर तो बढ़िया है There are machines which do all the vacuum and filling the gases in one go. You don't have to do anything; just press the buttons and it does it. But right now we are doing it manually. So how do we measure the amount of gas? Is you know we measure the weight of the cylinder before filling in, and then after filling the gas. So the difference should be around 500 grams, and that's how that's the amount we need to put in the air conditioner. And now about the pressure. and how do you check the condition of your compressor you check the pressure is in high pressure line and low pressure line so if the high pressure line is at 300 the low pressure line should be 40 or less than that and it's the same in my car so the compressor is in a really good condition ha hui to hai shuru आपका 
आगे आपको बम्पर फ्लू आ गए इसको फिर सेटिंग करवाना पड़ेगा अच्छे से जाओ करवा दें चौक पड़ा है फिर इसका क्या इलाज है ऐसे ही बिना खुलवाए मारने से हो जाएगा है ये ठंडा चेक कर रहा चिल्ड हो गया तो ये और चिल्ड हो गया अभी अच्छा इसके बाल देखने जरूरी होते हैं कोई लीकेज रह जाओ है चलो पता तो चला लीक कहा से हुई अब देखो अब नहीं हो रही है नाम क्या है भाई तेरा भीम 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 भी भी से ठीक so that's about it the car is aircon is working perfectly fine now we changed the aircon filter we uh, re refilled the gas and the last thing we cleaned the uh, condenser and the radiators and I hope you like the video make sure you like share and subscribe see in the next one bye bye if you like this video please consider subscribing Stop and code three.